Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going Q4 of the Weekly Contest 289. Longest path with different adjacent characters. So this one's a little bit awkward, honestly. Um, I thought that this was, yeah, I mean, I, one is I didn't think it was the hardest problem in the set, but that's fine. But I think the, there are a couple of key things to notice. One is that if you haven't already liked the video, uh, hit the subscribe button and join me on Discord. I think joining on Discord is cool. There are a lot of smart people who finished very well, actually, uh, on this contest, uh, other contests, and yeah, just chat together. Um, but yeah, but the key thing to note is that this is a tree. Um, I think there are a lot of things that maybe you don't... Um, yeah, uh, I, I think there are a couple of things where, you know, uh, maybe you didn't prove to yourself, but it, it becomes right because it's a tree. And having a tree means that um, the, the key thing about the two adjacent nodes is that um, if you have two adjacent nodes, that means that it's a relation. And I'm going to look at it as a relationship between the parent and a child. Um, if there's a two, like if you look at a tree like this one, right, and and the B's are to, next to each other and the A's are next to each other, that means that um, you basically d disconnect at the edge between those parents. They're like, you're dead to me, you know? Uh, and then it becomes its own tree. So that's basically the core idea from that one. And because you can never have those two uh, between this parent and the child, um, because this is a tree, they can never be in the same longest path because they, they have adjacent same character. Once you remove all those edges, then you know that every node in the tree, because it is a tree, um, the, every node is going to be not have the same characters, right? Like adjacent nodes will never have the same character. So then after that, you just run the longest path on a tree algorithm on each of those uh, tree in the forest. And that's basically the idea. Um, I actually have a silly error because I forgot. I, I forgot uh, uh, to to check that I or I forgot to uh, I forgot a, a minor thing, uh, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, just a coding mistake, and that cost me five minutes. It was a little bit sad or a lot sad, but yeah. Uh, but that's basically the idea. And if you search on YouTube on my videos on longest path on a tree, um, hopefully we'll talk about it uh, in those problems there. But there's a recursive solution, which I kind of, uh, uh, which I also Googled a little bit, or rather I searched for my own solution to use um, to kind of copy the template, um, to be honest. Um, and that's basically what I did. So basically here, like we, like I said, so we, we set up the edge list, um, the adjacency list. And here, as I said, if the characters are equal to each other, like if it's equal to this parent, then we don't create the edge. Otherwise, we do create the edge. Um, and here, uh, yeah, otherwise for each tree, if we haven't seen it before, we calculate the best result from the tree. And then we, and then that's the answer. And again, this is just standard, uh, or like if you look on my video, I've already done this before. Um, this is just getting the, the deepest, or oh, sorry, so this one it returns two things. I return the deepest, the deepest, um, the deepest path from here, and then the longest path that that is on using this node on it as a tree. So deepest is you go to deepest path that passes through this node, and longest is the longest path that passes through this node. And in this case, deepest is what it sounds like, right? It's just the depth of this tree starting from here. And then longest is going to be, um, basically, if a path goes through this node, then it goes through from the left or the right. Or I mean, this is not a binary tree, so it might have many children. So basically, you take the two longest uh, paths, you, and then you combine it through this node. So that's basically um, two longest child uh, children paths and make them go through this node too deep is actually to be more precise and that's basically the idea I have and I rec do this recursively um, yeah it's, again I have a, a a video on this one except for it's a binary tree but we, we kind of made it a little uh, better um, I did this sorting thing which is going to be fast enough if you if you do the math it's just uh, aggregation of n log n um, so it'll, it'll be good but you can also just keep track of the two longest in a ready um, 
like you know just keep track of two variables right so it's doable that way as well um but yeah but ba basically the idea is that and this is the line that i forgot uh when i first wrote it and this gave me a tle because i but because now i i go through i i calculate for each node multiple times um and you could have also just cached this uh function and that would also be good but i didn't do either so th that's the reason um because basically for every if you calculate it for each node it's going to be n square but if you do it for each tree um then it's fine right because then that means that you're linear time um and yeah so basically for each node we do th these maps and then we calculate for each children as long as it's not doesn't go up the tree um and we keep track of the deepest we um we also take uh, the child path and then add add it to the longest list. Um, and of course, the best can be, that means that this is the best of all the children in the node or, or the, uh, the longest path that is including all the children ones. So then, yeah. So then we saw it to get to the two longest. And here, you know, it's just basic logic. Uh, and then at the way end, we turn the deepest and the best. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, this is already in another video, so I'm not going to go over it that much. But the key thing is just this if statement is the key thing. And also making sure that you don't uh, repeat calculations. Uh, what is the complexity, right? Well, this is going to be O of N because, or O of V. Well, O of V, technically you could say V plus Y, but because this is a tree, the Y is equal to V minus 1. So we made it bidirectional, so it's maybe two times three, but same idea. Um, so it's going to be O of V. Um, yeah. And in terms of space, because of this edge list, this is also going to be O of V plus G. E. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here, but if you make sure that you don't repeat calculations, um, this is going to be each node gets visited once. So therefore, this is going to be V plus G. E. In the optimal case, uh, I do do this crazy thing of sorting, so maybe it's relog V or something like that. But you can actually just remove this, and it'll be all V plus Z. Um, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let's show. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be. <laughs> the top two. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you should be able to do it. Anyway, let's go over the... Uh, yeah, so this is my, my standard edge list, edge list construction. Um, this is my longest and deepest path in a tree. And this is just going through every possible tree and then going through it. Uh, that's pretty much all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And you could watch me sub alive during the contest next, including me debugging my silly mistake. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, that's actually surprising, but 125 people gotten this already. Um, wasn't that bad, but uh, I'm really behind on Q1 and Q2. All right, let's see. Focus. We'll do that. A lot of people have finished, though, so I'm not winning anything today. Okay, focus. I'm still not focused yet. Okay, focus, focus, Larry. Go, go, go. Give a tree, give a zero. Let me zero to one. Okay. Nope, have the same character assigned to them. What does that mean? So, A, B, C, B, E. Wait, what does that mean? A. Zero, one, three. Huh? What does this mean? What is S? S sub I. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I see. So now with these things, link longest path in the tree so the node have the same characters assigned to them. Hmm. Two seven three. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> okay, I mean, it, it just seems like <clears throat> it seems like this is just a regular free problem where if if the parent in this node is disconnected, then you get the thing, right? Yeah, okay. So you just get the longest forest. You, you chop them off. Uh, okay. Um, that's it. Okay, fine. Options that is okay for I X. <coughs> Oh, uh, let's see. No, no, we don't want that. Oh, yeah, we do want that. So the parent is X. Okay. So parent sub I is X. So we draw an edge from X to I. Something like that. Okay. So that. Um, only if they're different, though, right? So only if I is not equal to S of X. So if they're the same, we continue. Okay. Uh, could actually probably use an array here to be out, but yeah, it's fine. Um, okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Is that it? Longest path in the tree then, right? It's just the diameter. I'm trying to find my code for diameter of a tree. Was it just, you could do it with two depth for search. Uh, it's the canonical way of doing it. Oh yeah, wait, I, this is a tree, so I can actually do it a little bit dumber. Um, yeah, this is a tree, so we can do it for each thing. Um, okay. This is what I should do for the other one, but that's fine. Too late. Um, okay. Turn two things, so I gotta do that here. Okay, fine. Yeah, let's do it. Um, something like that. Uh, so, August, and then Okay, let's do deepest, longest. So then this is what. Okay, and then now we go. Um, so we don't go to his parents, that's fine. Right, okay. It's not a binary tree. So basically, we now go for C in E sub 
Let's if simple. C and Dex. Uh, plus one, okay. Okay. Um, I want to get I want to keep track of the two longest. I'm trying to think whether this is fast enough, we just do it before swing bit. Okay. Uh, okay, and then now we just do a long as that's all right. Um, See whether best can go to max of best, longest of zero, plus one plus one. Okay. Longest best is always at least one. And then now we will return. Um, hmm. Deepest, best. Three and three. Yeah. That's good enough for me to just try. Five wrong to be end. <laughs> I think that probably could be a little bit better. But. Don't tell me it times out. That would be sad. Then maybe unexpected because I think this is linear. Huh. A little sloppy today. Why would it just time out? This is linear. Oh, I am dumb, am I? Um, yeah, I have to set this. Oh, man. <sighs> I, I just didn't, I meant to do that, but then I forgot, I guess, 10,000. I don't know if this is the right answer, though. They don't carry the answer. But this is probably right. Uh, yeah, okay. Hopefully this is, okay. Oh. Uh, come on, Larry. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. This is a little bit of a sad contest for me. Uh, I'll see you later. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health, and take care. Bye-bye.